Well, it's all politics, and everybody and their mother has an opinion yes. on the no candidates. Debate. Alan Blinder stood out to me, the former vice chairman of the Federal Reserve, writing in the Wall Street Journal, making the case for why CEOs or businessmen should not necessarily be president. They don't have the skills that it takes. This is sort of an unusual political angle coming from Mr. Blinder. He says, not many successful companies are run as democracies. Benign dictatorship works far better. All the checks and balances that characterize American democracy would drive a hard-charging CEO crazy. Just one of his arguments there, he says there's no bottom line when it comes to the presidency. Yeah, Compromise is obligatory, and for all of these reasons, Maybe being yeah. a CEO isn't the right credential. And we should point out that Professor Blinder is known to support Democrat Party politics. Obviously. You know, obviously. <laughs> well, I mean, you could make uh, Michael Bloomberg the mayor of New York an exception. Granted, he's a mayor. And, of course, full disclosure, he is the uh, founder and also owner of Bloomberg LP, which is the parent of Bloomberg. But a lot of people have pointed out that's an example of a successful businessman who runs a city very well. Mm -hmm. Anyway, today's the last full day of prep for the presidential candidates, for President Obama and Governor Romney. So the FT, in the FT today, we have President Clinton's former advisor and pollster, Stanley Greenberg, writing what basically amounts to an advice column for the governor. He says that right now Mitt Romney needs to change the race, the tone of this race. Romney is in trouble because he has not settled on what's at issue in this election and why voters should replace Mr. Obama with him. Is this election about the past or the future, the economy or the welfare state? This is still in flux and it can't be this late in the season for the governor to still be debating which of these themes he's going to choose.